hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so let us start the video so in this i am going to give you the solutions for week 6 assignment of air pollution and control course so friends i hope every solution is but if you feel there should be any change you want to suggest you can do that in the comment section so guys before the final submission uh, moment once again check the comment section if there are any updates i will mention in the comment section only so once again visit this so do watch the video full the full video till the end because if any changes are identified in between the video i will update it so if you skip the video you may miss that so do watch full video let's see the first question which of the following data are associated with secondary data so guys uh, in the lecture only questionaries is mentioned and not directly mentioned uh, it is associated with secondary data so for first question only uh, i'm going with option a and for remaining questions i can say that these are the exact solutions but for first question please confirm me whether questionaries is the answer or not but I think for first question option A is the answer and for remaining questions uh, I will give you the exact solution most of uh, the probability first question is also correct only guys if you know once again uh, confirm it in the comment section moving on to the second one dash is the practice of deriving information about pollution sources and the amount they contribute to ambient air pollution levels so for second question the exact correct answer is source apport apportionment so mark source apportionment first option as correct answer for second question and moving on to the third one which of the following models follows the source based methods so which of the models follow the source based methods so for third question the exact correct answer is first one gaussian plume model so mark first option as correct answer for third question and moving on to the fourth one the fundamental principle of receptor modeling is so what is the fundamental principle for receptor modeling so for fourth question the answer is third option mass conservation so mark third option as correct answer for fourth question and moving on to the fifth question The minimum number of samples, that is n, is the one, of one that produces a degree of freedom d to variable number v ratio. So it determines the ratio that is greater than 60. So it should be greater than 60. So the correct answer for fifth question is first option. So let's move on to the sixth one now. Sixth question. Sixth question. Values that do not follow the distribution of data with similar characteristics are referred to as. So what we call the values that do not follow the distribution of data with similar characteristics. So we call them as outliers if anyone uh, knows the mission learning course i mean if you are aware with that mission learning you will get this uh, term there outliers and moving on to the seventh question now which one of the following is not not the cause of indoor air pollution they are asking not sometimes we will confuse and we will mark the causes of like that so but here they clearly mentioned not guys in the final exam also please uh, observe the terms clearly 
whether they are asking for the positive one or negative one like that so for seventh question the answer is fourth one well designed air conditioning systems actually uh, it is caused by poorly designed poorly designed air condition systems but they give well designed so it is quite opposite so we will mark it is not the cause of indoor air pollution the answer is fourth option for seventh question moving on to the eighth one eighth question dash is defined by the depiction of concentrations of pollutants and thermal conditions that may negatively affect the health comfort and performance of a building's occupants so for eighth question the correct answer is first option indoor air quality indoor air quality so mark first option as correct answer for eighth question and let's move on to the ninth one ninth question dash is a mixture of the smoke given off by burning tobacco products such as cigarettes cigars or pipes and the smoke exhaled by smokers so for ninth question the correct answer is first option second hand smoke it is second hand smoke so mark first option as correct answer for ninth question so moving on to the final question of the assignment that is tenth question which of the following is the source of dust mites so what is the source of dust mites in the given options so for 10th question the correct answer is first option carpets under the carpets there are these dust mites so friends these are the solutions for week 6 air pollution and control course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if i uh, if i get any a uh, modification or changes i will mention in the comment section but i think uh, that chance will not come because i think these are 100% solutions so guys for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until then goodbye thank you